Hey guys! So today I just want to do like a little look. I picked up a few things at Ulta. Nothing like brand new, but new to me. And of course you guys know how much I love shopping at Ulta. So, so if you guys want to see what I got in the look that I'm going to make in this video, then keep on watching. just want to say thank you so much for clicking on my video because of course you didn't have to and I really appreciate the fact that you're even watching. Even if you've made it this far in the video and I hope you stay. Um, I know I can be a little awkward, I know I can be a little boring, but, you know, but hopefully I can, you know, be fun enough for ya. <laughs> so, you can probably tell I got a little sun. I sat outside yesterday, and I feel like the camera is making me look a lot more pink than I really am in person. In person, I'm like a tinge pink, but not as pink as I look on camera right now. So I picked up two, uh, four items. I picked up this lip liner. It's the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner in the shade Nonstop Nude. Um, my friend Frida, she used this on me when I was doing like a bridal show thing where um, she did my makeup and um, I really love the lip liner she used for the look so I finally picked it up because I finally found it in my notes like do you guys do the same thing where your notes are just like full of random stuff like I went through it and I started deleting some stuff and I found the notes I had for the product she used on me that I loved and that was one of them so I picked it up another thing I picked up was one of the lippy sticks from ColourPop I got the shade cookie because I thought it might be a really cool shade to use to lighten things up like lipsticks or do the lightning in the middle so I think these actually are gonna go really well together so I'm gonna try a lip combo of that real quick before you know I make a look but that's what I got there now I picked up two Juvia's Place palettes and I'm really excited because I like the shades in these I haven't really been interested in buying a lot of palettes because they're just not in my color scheme right now that I'm kind of drawn to but these definitely were beautiful. I'm looking more at greens and I'm excited to look at these. They're absolutely stunning. I love the artwork that they have on these, but isn't this palette gorgeous? Hold on. I'm a klutz. It's just beautiful. Like, ah, that Mas Masai uh, shade, I freaking love. I can't, I can't. It's just stunning. It's stunning. And then the Nomad palette, and of course I remember the Nomad palette when it came out. People were raving over it, people loved the shades in it, and I never really saw it in person. And so I never really felt drawn toward it, but I finally saw it in person, and I honestly understand what the hype is all about. This is such a stunning palette. Although I will say one thing, I always thought this shade was green. I always did. Every time I saw it on a YouTube video, and it's not, it's gray, which is interesting. Um, I didn't expect that. But yeah, these shades are really gorgeous. This is like a perfect fall palette. No, I probably wouldn't necessarily wear this for the summer, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So I think I want to make a look using these palettes today. Probably the Tri palette primarily, but I want to swatch them and see how they look because it's really cute. But I'm going to do the little lip combo and then look at swatches and like come right back. Okay, so this is a swatch of the lip liner and the lipstick. Ironically, they're the exact same shade. So that's why I feel like I kind of look like I'm just wearing the same thing all over. Like I feel like I don't even have a lip liner on. Interesting. Didn't expect that. <laughs> I just swatched this. This is the Tri Palette and then this is the Nomad on my wrist right here. So I really like the shades up here. I'm debating if I want to do a green look, but I really love this orange shade in here that's like got a green reflect to it. I don't know what it is. Something about it's really alluring to me. So I might do a look based with that. So the first shade I think I'm going to go in with is in the Nomad Palette and it's this yellowy kind of um, transition shape and I'm just going to smoke it in my crease. And then I'm going to take the Oromo shade in the Tri Palette. I'm going to apply this in my crease. I'm going to take 
the shade Ashanti that's also in the Tribe palette. And I'm going to put this on the outer portion. take is that Chaga shade which is that metal shade in the tri palette and I think I'm just gonna put it on my lip oh shit okay <gasps> wow whoa wait this is a lot more powerful on the eye than it did on a swatch oh boy okay all right I'm gonna Shader brush. I'm going to go back in with that Oromo shade in the palette, which is that bright orange. Cora, which is that lightish shimmer shade in the palette that greenish one and I'm just gonna put that in the uh, inner corner I was gonna say tear duct but no don't put it in your tear duct please don't it's actually really pretty together I'm gonna bring it in just a little okay so obviously I need to do some concealer so let's do that uh, what do I want to do Alright, and um, what I just did off camera was I just put that Oromo shade, the transition shade, and I really just smoked it out underneath. And I'm taking a smudger brush, and I'm going to take the shade Chaga, and I'm just going to put it on top. I think I just want this to be a really shimmery look. So just putting it underneath. And then I'm going to go back in with Coro and bring that back on the inner corner. I kind of like it. I'm going to go back in with a little Oromo. Smoke it out. Then a little bit of a Shanti, which is that darker uh, greenish brown shade I used earlier. And just deepen it up again. Kind of running it a little on the outer portion of my eye. So like almost like a V, if you see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I'm going to apply this to my face. And now that I've got that, I'm going to take the ColourPop Blush Stick and Aloha. And I'm just going to apply some on my cheek. And we'll blend it out. Then I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, because I feel like my Milani one is going to be a little too light. I feel bad. I always get the mirror in the way and I feel like y'all can't see anything. But I don't have anything other than this mirror to look at. <laughs> I focus it mostly back here. I don't like to bring it too far up in my face. Although I kind of was wanting to do my skin a little more bronzy for this look. But I don't think my skin is there. Using the Alomar Cosmetics Blush Trio that's in medium tan, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Seclusion, which is the orange shade. I freaking love this palette so much, it's just so stunning. And I'm just using this to kind of put on top of that cream blush we used because I feel like that blush, like I love it, but it doesn't have very much of a longevity to it. But it's beautiful, it's absolutely stunning. I love it so much, but I like to put this on top of it um, just to kind of bring it in. I might go in with a little bit of Isla which is that pinker corally shade. 
So I just went to the store today. I went to H&M to return a pair of shorts and then I left with like three items, but it's okay. I love them all. But this lady, the, the lady who was checking my, uh, checking me out, um, complimented my nails. And I was like, thank you so much. She was like, they look so good. And I was like, well, thank you. Cause I did them myself. I've been like, this has been my quarantine thing that I've been like, I guess, practicing and, you know, trying to get good at. So it's really cool. But yeah, I love this. I love these nails so much. These are jelly. They're like all little jelly nails. And then I put them over here and then I did like blue. But yeah, I'm in love. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. But you know, I'm going to set my under eyes because I forgot to do that. Um... And then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown because I'm kind of like trying to stick with like a goldy vibe here. Um, but I think this might be a little dark for me. I'm just going to dab it on. I'm going to go in with a lighter highlight on top. So there's a few options. You could do the Cleo uh, Loose Setting Highlighter by Juvia's Place absolutely stunning and then we have the wet and wild um I'm so lit I'm kind of drawn like I'm kind of torn between the two but I swear I just swatched them and they look the exact same so I don't really know I'll do the highlighter from Juvia's oh no too much too much too much too much too much too much got a, got a little aggressive there I forget this stuff is really like strong I'm going to take my Maybelline Glass Spray, shake it real good, and then we're going to do a spritz on the face. Oh my gosh, I think I finally figured out what this smells like. It smells like jello, like orange jello. That's exact. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it smells like. I love it because it gives me that wet look. Just, just wet. I like it. Okay, so I just put cookie on my lips and then I went over it with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber, which I really like this shade. And now I'm just going to do some mascara and then we'll see if I need to tweak anything. Okay, so this is how everything is looking. I did put some clear uh, mascara in my brows and I just went and put some mascara on. If you're curious what mascara it was, it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Herbitude. But yeah, I had fun making this look. I actually really, really like it. I'm really digging it. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below. But yeah, that's all I have really for you today. I just wanted to do a fun little makeup look with, you know, makeup that's new to me and I had a great time doing this. I love when these videos, you know, are successful and go great and the products, you know, just work beautifully and, you know, everything just turns out really great. Um, can I say great one more time? Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. If you did, let me know because honestly, you rock. You rock. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!